Let me ask you a question. Does your department have a records management system? Are you using it correctly? If your city officials say, show us a return of investment on our fire dollar that will invest in you, can you do it? Can you predict the outcome of your decisions you make before they happen, whether administratively, training, budget, operations? If you have a records management software, you can do all this quickly and easily. When asked about records management software, most departments will say we only use 10% of what our records management software will do. Infers, RMS. That's what people think. RMS, Infers. But if you open up your RMS packages, you'll see it's just a filing cabinet of everything your department does. That 10% right in the middle, Infers, but that ties into everything else. Your trainer records, hydrant data, personnel records, maintenance records, workman's comp, budget, equipment, and it goes on and on. You should be collecting all this in your records management software to make it easy to analyze and see those patterns. Do you spend thousands and thousands of dollars in RMS packages a year, plus another thousand on a separate records management for training and maintenance and inventory? If you have them all under one roof, with a relational database, you should be able to see patterns quickly, easily, within minutes. For an example, if you look at your infers and training data, how they relate to each other. When you look at fire ground operations, what shift is getting fires under control quicker, easier, safer, with less injuries? I guarantee you A, B, or C shift is doing something a little different. I know you're one department and you have standard operating procedures, but we all know one shift likes vertical ventilation, the other PPV. They do things in different orders, different ways. One of your shifts are doing it quicker, better, and safer. Have you ever found out what? What's your number one suppression factor you face? Do you know what it is? Have you trained for it? If you start a new training program that affects your fire ground, does it have a positive impact on fire control? Did you go from building of origin to room of origin because of your training programs? Have you reduced injuries? Guess what? You make a decision in training, it should also affect your fire ground, but it also does your budget. And when you really look deep into RMS packages, every decision you make on the fire ground and training is going to affect your injuries, your personnel records, your budget. It's going to affect maintenance records, the way you use equipment. What equipment do you use that lasts longer? It goes with scheduling data. Your schedule, and when you look at your data, should see patterns that affect training. Should, uh, your scheduling will affect injuries. Your personnel records, your budget, your daily activities, it all ties in together. Every decision you make in every area affects every area of your department. Arson, if you look at your arson data and contract and compare it to your inspection data, occupancy data, scheduling, where are your arson fires happening? Is it a particular structure, time of day, type of construction? What's it doing to your overall fire loss, your fire saves? Are you having training programs put in place to stop it? It all has patterns. When you look at it, you make a decision anywhere in here. It's going to affect, and you should see a pattern everywhere else in your department. One decision will affect all these areas. You can predict the outcome of a decision before you make it, no matter if it's administration, training, operations, inspections, you can do it simply and easily by extracting data and putting it into a program like Excel. You can use your data to show that you have a positive impact on the economics of your city if you collect data right. You can show that you have a good return of investment for that dollar, that fire dollar that's invested in you. You should be able to decrease your budgets, your maintenance budgets, by making better buying decisions by tracking your maintenance issues. You can target per training programs to stop injuries, to stop fire loss. You can decrease your training budget if you actually looked at your data and saw their patterns where you invest and where you need to. You can schedule better. You can stop fire before it happens by doing hotspot analysis, which Excel does extremely well. You can do all this much and much and much more if you collect data and use it right. Typically, if I hear RMS packages just don't work, or ours is broke, or we need a new one, it's because of one of these five reasons. The department never set it up correctly. You never understood the power of data. You never programmed the coding right. 
your department doesn't know how to use the software. You never had a full implement training program department wide on how to use RMS. You don't have an SOG for data collection. I look at your data, it's like herding cats trying to see them patterns. Your department doesn't realize the power of inference it has when you compare it to all those other data sets in your department. The departments typically don't know how easy it is to use inference, training data, maintenance data, tie it all in as a budgeting tool, a forecasting tool, and a scheduling tool. Fire data is extremely powerful. It saves money. It saves lives. It reduces injuries. If you know how to use it, become a data champion.